what people will see is uh, at least four miles of scale track around a uh, 24 by 80 room. Uh, they uh, will see two layers going through several towns, two reversing loops so for continuous running, uh, intermodal yard, staging yards, engine facility, big uh, classification yard, uh, steel mill, just any kind of Midwest business you'll see on this track. Is there a crew on the uh, uh, 207? Uh, what's your uh, engine number on that uh, Erie? To control multiple trains by using what's called dark territory rules. That's giving them actual blocks. Mills Pickle Factory, uh, there is the uh, award-winning cucumber that they grew. And uh, if you notice, there's a little gentleman taking a picture of it with the old old style pickles or old style cameras. Uh, Mel's Pickle Factory uses the finest spring water in their production. Uh, pipe going to the swamp. Uh, does have uh, alligators, beware of alligators in the swamp and of course there are some. So um, We've got a Boy Scout camp behind the pickle factory. Camp Kiss It Off. So, people have a lot of fun with this layout, putting their own little touches in it. It was an Alco PO. They were a very limited production of passenger locomotives that were common in the 1950s and early 1960s. And that's part of the fun of this club is that we're not so rigid as to have to have everything scale, everything prototype. So it makes it a little more interesting, a little more fun for most of the people that are in the club.